Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. The entire nation is currently focused on the allegations of sexual misconduct against Republican Alabama senatorial candidate Roy Moore. Meanwhile, the mainstream media has been completely ignoring the disturbing sexual allegations against the Democratic candidate. The Gateway Pundit reported that Democrat David Alcon, who is running for the open 2nd District congressional seat in New Mexico, was arrested on November 10 after he stalked a woman he met at a Halloween party for several days. Police arrested Alcon after he texted photos of his genitals and told her he was outside of her apartment. Police found him at an apartment complex in Albuquerque two weeks after an arrest warrant was issued for him. What he has been doing since the warrant went out is a mystery. The woman said she met Ocon at a party on October 28, and she began receiving persisting texts from him immediately afterwards. Some of them suggested that he was watching her, while other messages professed his love for her, and one picture was of his genitals. This comes as the allegations against Moore continue to make headlines around the country. Briet Bart reported that the mother of Lee Kaufman, who says that Alabama senatorial candidate Troy Moore tried to engage in a sexual encounter with her when she was 14, said that reporters worked to convince her daughter to give an interview about her allegations against Moore. Kaufman's mother, Nancy Wells, 71, said that her daughter would not have come forward if it weren't for the Post reporter's alleged actions. She did not go to them, said Wells. They called her. They tried to convince her to do it? The reporter asked. Yes, Wells replied in a matter-of-fact tone. It wasn't done for politics, you know, Wells added. It was done for personal reasons. And it wouldn't have been done if the reporters hadn't contacted my daughter. When asked why Korfman came forward 38 years after the incident took place, Wells replied, she was contacted by the reporter. That's why. Wells also contradicted a major part of her daughter's story when she said that Korfman did not have a phone in her bedroom during the period that Moore is reported to have allegedly called Korfman, reportedly on Korfman's bedroom phone, to arrange at least one encounter. Moore has denied all of the allegations against him. These allegations are completely false and are a desperate political attack by the National Democrat Party and the Washington Post on this campaign, Moore said. It's disturbing that the mainstream media gleefully reports on sexual misconduct claims against Republicans while it stays silent on claims against Democrats. Share this story so we can expose David Alcon as the pervert that he is, that he is.